Plus, he's the former governor of Pennsylvania and the city's biggest Eagles fan. Everendell's here in studio to talk election, football, and more. That's all right now on The Q. Hi. You're watching The Q. <laughs> Get up out your feet. Hey. Jump up on your feet. Hey. Hug somebody, love somebody, sing along with me. Hey. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait another minute. The time is down. We ain't got to wait. You guys ready for Christy Harris? Make some noise for The Q. Pussy Harris. Uh, hi, yeah. Well, what's up, baby? Let's give it up for our producer, South Philadelphia Meredith. Let's give it up for our musical director, DJ Malk G's. So uh, yesterday was Halloween, and uh, you know I was like a Halloween Grinch. I really didn't want to do it. My wife. So no, because what happened? The kids and my wife they get home late. They got home like seven, seven thirty. And I'm like, oh. no, we shouldn't do it. I really <laughs> don't want to do it. I was like, no, let's just not do it. She's like, no, we have to do it. And then what she does most of the time when I don't want to do something and it has something involving the kids, she'll tell the kids. So then we have to do. It. She's like, no, we have to do it. We have to go Halloween. We have to go trick or treat. I was like, darn. So we we go out. It's cold. We're trick or treating. This is my kids right here, and they're like, we're going to different... Aww. Of course, that wasn't my house, because I was not doing all of this. This was like a neighbor's house. Like, they, <laughs> they put all the stuff up. And I was like, well, let's just take a picture right there, and it makes it look like, you know, we did that. But so, <laughs> the greatest thing was, people, like, nowadays, like, when I was, you know, when we were growing up, you had to ring the doorbell. Yep. Now, people just leave the candy on the out on the steps. Oh, yeah. So, out on the I was step? like, yeah, it was just on, it was in the ball. No. And I was like, okay. They don't do that, they don't do that where I live. So then I start getting into to it because I'm like, ooh, oh, Reese cups. Let me get the Reese cups. <laughs> and then, you know, as a parent, you, what you're supposed to do is like, you, you, you know, check the candy when you for the home. kids so that it's no yeah. needles and stuff. But I ate half of my kids' candy oh. yesterday. Oh. I brought half of it in here. Yo, no, yeah, I ate, and a, I ate and a lot. And then you ate half of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be going running today. Uh, Miles, they, well, your kids are older. Your kids are like oh, yeah, 30. Oh, yeah, we gave our candy. We gave yeah, our yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his time. kids aren't 30. They're just, you know, <laughs> you can, how old are you? You're like 10? 10 and 13. But see, 10 and 13 today is not 10 and 13 years no, ago. No, it's yeah. like. That's yeah, like being... I would have went out like 10 years old. They're driving now. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> They're driving. So... My son's 10 and he went out. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. But he's an immature 10. Boys are more immature. <laughs> they want, they like the scarier the better. Oh, yeah, these are, okay. And the best thing is, people ask these me if kids? I made the scarecrow costume. Did you make this stuff? Costume. No. Well, I, I know you go that. in. But then after the third person said that you make it, I was like, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> just, just ride with it. I, I would have rolled with it. But listen, you know, celebs, they also uh, went trick or treating. It's time to cue it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, celeb they're, they are regular people. Uh, celebrities, they went out. Justin Timberlake, he went out with uh, his wife, Jessica Bill, and his, uh, his son, Silas. If, now, listen. Justin Timberlake comes to my house. I'm, we're staying. Like, I'm, he's staying. He's singing. He's well, no one would know it was him. I mean, look at you him. You know that. You know Justin Timberlake. I don't know. That's not like a regular parent outfit. Although that's a pretty good costume. Yeah, that you is. You know that's not a regular person. Well, see, that's from his new movie, Trolls. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. And uh, Kourtney Kardashian, uh, she dressed up her family as uh, Power Rangers. So, yeah, that's cool. This is, I mean, people, I don't remember. My parents never dressed up. Mine neither. I would say, Dad, what are you? He's like, a worker. A worker <laughs> for you. I, don't, Go I out never there. dressed up. Yeah, my, my, I never dressed up. I with never my kids. Did your parents dress up? No. Did you? Did you guys parents? No, no, no. Y'all no, just no. hold on. Let me talk to some people. Who dressed? Up? Some people just. Oh, you dressed? Who stand? Okay. You just. You dressed up. Please stand up. Please stand. Please stand up. What's your name? Paulette. Okay, so you dressed up when she was little. Mm -hmm. I dressed up as Boy George really? and made my own costume. Oh, well, let's give it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. My parents can learn something from you. My parents weren't, they were not dressing up uh, at all. Uh, I don't know if you are, uh, President Obama and First Lady uh, Obama, they uh, welcome trick or treaters to the White House. They also had a little fun uh, joining in with the kids. They actually danced to Thriller. Check this out.
what he's doing. He's trying to act like he's not cool. He know how to. He know how to do it. I'm telling you, Obama's gonna change in January. Things are gonna change. He's just gonna be. Ooh, really and everything. Uh, oh, did you guys see this? A couple's romantic night uh, in the pool got interrupted by a crocodile. Check this out. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, set the scene. They're uh, they're doing some things uh, in there, and then the crocodile comes, and guess what? The dude leaves. Like, honey, get out! <laughs> he's, behind, he's behind you! Move ass! Hurry up! Ladies, if you're if you're in the pool uh, having those kind of relations and a guy jumps out on you, what do you do? Well, maybe uh -huh. he thought she was going to jump out, too. But no. I mean, I would. Ma'am, say what's your name? Darcelle. Now, Darcelle, what, what would you do? I would definitely break up with him. It's a wrap. I'm about to risk my life for you, and you can save me yeah. from an alligator? That's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Right. Yeah, I'm be yeah. I don't. May, like you said, would you be mad at, at your husband if he... If I he, would be mad, but then he would probably turn it around on me and be like, well, didn't you see the alligator? Why didn't you get out? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, because me, because I, I love my wife a lot, and I'm, I would I would, I would die for her, man. Oh. Yeah, I would have stayed in there, man. You are, you should get, and the Oscar goes to. I would listen, I would have, listen, man, if, if that was my, like, just, just how I was raised, You're you gonna know? be nominated this I year would, for Best Actor I would have stayed in, and I would have just been like, honey, go, go. And he would have just, I would have been bitten, and mm -hmm. it's been okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what a real man does, right, ladies? Yeah. And speaking of real men, we have former Governor Ed Rendell here, live on the queue, coming up next. She signed a deal with Nike. The ad agency's still in her party. Hey, have you guys seen Jenny? Have you seen Jenny? You want to get out of here? You got a car. Should we call the LAPD? Her age is trying to find her. Now she's really, like running around somewhere naked. All new pitch. Thursday at 9 p.m. on Fox 29. The Q on Fox 29 is brought to you by Farm on Mills. Real cases from the files of Swartz Culleton. When my mom suffered from a horrible bed sore at a nursing home, we called Swartz Culleton. They filed a lawsuit and got us a large cash settlement. When my husband suffered a devastating fall at a nursing home, we called Swartz Culleton. They filed a claim and got us a large cash settlement. If you've been injured, get justice. Call 1-800-JUSTICE today. Why did Pennsylvania Jobs move to Mexico? Ask Katie McGinty. McGinty steered millions in taxpayer money to a company to create jobs here. McGinty definitely got a job and got paid a lot. Our jobs? Plants closed and hundreds got laid off. Middle class jobs outsourced to Mexico. We got played and McGinty got paid. We can't afford millionaire McGinty's shady self-serving deals. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. I'm Rand Spear, the accident lawyer. I've been right here for over 30 years, fighting to get my clients the money they deserve. So come join my family and see what I can do for you. The man Rand. Get up out your feet. Hey. Jump up on your feet. Hey. Hug somebody, love somebody. Our first guest today is the former governor of Pennsylvania and former mayor of uh, Philadelphia. He's also a big Eagles fan. Let's give it up for Ed Rendell. <laughs> Mr. Rendell, how you doing? Doing good. You guys fans of Ed Rendell, right? Yeah. I mean, this guy's, he's not a fan of Ed Rendell. Before we get serious, yes. I have to tell the audience and those folks watching us, Quincy played uh, basketball against my son, Jesse. Yeah. So while I was uh, waiting to, to uh, come out, I said, do you remember Quincy? 
you played basketball at the Chestnut Hill Fathers League against him? And he said, yeah, ask him if he remembers the seven threes I scored over him. No, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> now I'm talking to Jesse now. Jesse, <laughs> it, it, it wasn't seven threes, okay? <laughs> Your dad was the mayor at the time. Couldn't foul you, okay? <laughs> Couldn't foul you. You come out, we gotta let you go, you know? And you, you know, you would come up to some of the games, so yeah. Yeah, I would. I'd try to get to many of them. Yeah, so how, how you doing? Well, I'm doing great, but uh, I, this is so much fun. The, the run up to the show and the show itself, I'm almost hesitant to inject a serious note, but particularly for your audience, which tends to be young millennials, uh, the election next Tuesday is deadly serious. And it's interesting. People say, well, why should we vote? Millennials yeah. ask me. Well, because the issues that are going to be decided by who the next president is and who the next Congress is, they're not going to affect me much in the rest of my life. Global warming. Mm -hmm. Well, global warming will mean some hot days in the summer for the rest of my life. But for your millennials, some of their kids might not be able to go out in the sun because of what we're doing in the atmosphere. Yeah. It's deadly serious. College, the cost of college, it's almost prohibitive these days. Hillary Clinton wants to do something about it, same as Bernie Sanders did. And that may mean that some people watching us who don't have a chance to go to college will have a chance to go to college. So these things are issues that affect millennials and young people more than anybody else. And they've got to get out there and vote. And to show you how important Philadelphia, the greater Philadelphia region is, in 2012, President Obama carried the city by 468,000 votes. A record of all time. He got 85% of the vote. When I ran for re-election, I got 89% of the vote, but it was less of a turnout. Yeah. But I reminded him that I got a higher percentage. <laughs> got you. But yeah. he also carried the four suburban counties by a total of 120,000. So he left the five counties, and Pennsylvania's got 67 counties. He left the five counties 588,000 votes ahead. He won the statewide election and got our 21 electoral votes by 450,000 votes, which means he lost the rest of the state wow. by 130,000 votes. If we don't turn out for Hillary Clinton, and we don't turn out for Democrats running for Senate and Congress all the way down, down the line, we're gonna lose. If people think this election's in the bag, even before the, the FBI stuff, it isn't in the bag. Nothing matters until you vote on election day. And you ought to vote, because I'll tell you, if you've never voted before and you're watching us on TV or in the audience, and you know this is true, I remember the first time I voted, and I closed the curtain, and it was just me and, and the buttons in there. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Oh, you guys are voting, right? You guys are voting. Everybody up here, you guys are voting. Now, I will, I will say this, because we have people that are voting for whoever you're voting for. And just they should vote for whoever vote, they vote just, for. Just vote. Vote whoever you're voting for. Get out this Tuesday and vote. Absolutely. Okay. Now, now with the election, you know, you know you're a big Eagles fan. You're a huge Eagles fan. I don't know how we lost the game. I think you probably know how we lost the game. But uh, we want to play a little game with you. Um, it's called a Trump, a Clinton, uh, or an Eagle. So okay. you have to pick. Okay. So the first scenario is um, best hair, best hair, a Trump, a Clinton, or an Eagle. The eagle is, is Jalen Mills. Who has, who has the, best, the best hair right there? Well, I would have given it to Jalen before he dyed his hair green. Yeah. So with J the green look doesn't make it for me. Yeah. The Donald, David Letterman used to have a segment on his show where he showed an audience member a picture of the top of Donald's head and a picture of a monkey's head, and it was Ouch. Trump or monkey. And you had to identify which was the Trump and which was the monkey. So I'll, I'll, I wonder who uh, Ed Riddell's voting for. <laughs> So I'll give this one. I'll give this one to Hillary by default. Okay. Okay. Uh, Not that Hillary's hairdo is that great either, but I'll. Actually... Okay. Next one. Who has the best future? A Trump, a Clinton, or an Eagle? Carson Wentz. Who has the best future? Well, the longest successful future of the three is going to be Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz yeah. is going to be. He'll be here. Okay. He'll be here leading us to Super Bowls. Yes. When Donald Trump is is back making money. And Hillary Clinton has finished three years as president. <laughs> Carson Wentz will still be here. Okay, <laughs> last one. Uh, most likely to still be in power in five years. A Trump, a Clinton, or an Eagle, Doug Peterson? Ooh. Ooh. Well, prior to, <laughs> prior to the Dallas game, I would have <laughs> might have said Doug Peterson. But Doug made, Doug made the big, big mistake. Always be aggressive. Believe in yourself. 
We had a field goal kicker who was the hottest kicker in the NFL. He made two 55 yarders, the one they call a timeout yeah. from, and he made them with 10 yards to spare. Mm -hmm. Run him out there, kick the field goal, game's over. Yep. Game's over. Yeah, so who would you pick, best future? Well, again, Hillary. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, Ed Rundell, I thank you for coming Thanks, by the queue. Tell your son he's welcome. Jesse, you're welcome to come on the queue anytime when we can do a rematch of basketball, okay? <laughs> if that's what you want. Oh, guys, let's give it up for Ed Rundell one more time on the queue. Thank you for coming. Thank you, I appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Tomorrow on the queue, how much sleep do you really need? Dr. Oz joins me to talk to me about that and more. Plus, he's one of the biggest stars in the UFC. Philly native Eddie Alvarez will be here in studio. That's tomorrow at noon on Fox 29. Fox 29 News at 11 is shaking things up, giving you your seven-day forecast in the first five minutes. For real. Fox 29 News at 11. We go there. This Fox 29 program presented by Krasno, Krasno, and Onwadinjo. Every day across Pennsylvania, the attorneys of Krasno, Krasno, and Onwadinjo help injured workers. From the coal regions of Pottsville to the boroughs of Pittsburgh, the hallways of Harrisburg to the high rises of Philadelphia. And we've been doing it for more than 75 years. So if you're an underdog in Allentown or the little guy in Lancaster, we'll fight for you too. We are homegrown. We are hometown. We are Pennsylvania. Krasno, Krasno, and Onwadinjo. This holiday season, my good friend gave to me Spelling Powerball tickets, six match fix chances Five cash marks Four cash for lives, three pick threes, two random news Happy holidays, Rita Thanks, Joe What a great gift Pennsylvania Lottery tickets make great gifts Like the new $1 million snowbank Happy holidays And best wishes from the Attention cigarette smokers, are you interested in quitting smoking? The University of Pennsylvania is seeking volunteers between the ages of 18 and 65 to participate in a quit smoking research study. Eligible participants will complete two brain scans and receive quit smoking counseling at no cost, as well as compensation for time and travel. Please call 215-746-8430 or go to www.phillyquit.com to see if you're eligible for this quit smoking research study. I believe that corporations put profits over people every chance they get. I believe that insurance companies want to keep the money they owe you instead of paying your valid claim. As a trial attorney, I see injustice every day, and it's why I fight them back at every turn. I believe in providing access to the courts for all people by never charging you one penny unless we win your case. Simply put, I believe in fighting for the people. Sponsor McDonald's all day breakfast menu because uh, at a limited time, you can grab a sausage McGriddle. I know you, you ate like seven of them yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm, you had, I, it looked like seven. The bacon, egg, and cheese. Well, the sausage, you know, a sausage McGriddle for one dollar, or you can get uh, an egg and cheese or egg and bacon for two dollars. Uh, egg and bacon, I should say. Uh, got a McGriddle craving at 2 p.m.? No problem. Pick up any time, one at any time at McDonald's, okay? You guys like McDonald's? Just give it up yeah. McDonald's. So, uh, I don't know on this piece, but I, I went to interview Wendy Williams. Love Wendy Williams to death. We used to work together um, she, when I was like a really young kid in radio. And I went up to her show and we talked. Check it out. So we're live at the Wendy Williams show. Our show just ended. We're about to interview Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. What? I'm on the show. I'm here, well, not on the show. I'm at the show. You call him Quincy. I call him Q. When I met you, you were my intern. Yeah. I we was... don't have to go into it. I've known okay. him since forever. I was, it, it, I was, a, you were a boy. I was a boy. And now you're a man. I'm a grown man. I was 19. The first time I had coffee was uh, with you and your husband, Kevin. And I, I had to go to school. I was, at, I was in Temple. And you were like, you need to drink some coffee because you're, you're doing this, you're running around, so drink some coffee. So the first time I had some coffee was with you. Let's talk about Philadelphia. Philly celebrities, Tina Fey. She's from Upper Darby. 
I right didn't know that. Philly. Yeah, right outside of Philadelphia. I like Tina Fey. Yeah. Yep, yeah, talented. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Hart. Where is Eve and Beanie Siegel? Who are you, Quincy? I'm not, I didn't get done yet. Do we have to go to the okay. first? Okay, Kevin Hart. Fabulous. Think like a man. Most money comedian. Yeah. Uh, Forbes for this year. Meek Mill. You know what? Meek Mill performed um, at our son's 13th uh, birthday party. We called it a black mitzvah. And nice. like he made my kid feel good that night. And made, there were like 500 kids in the nightclub. Confetti, can it, was a, it was a scene. And he didn't just come and perform and leave. Like he, we got some great pictures of him. Like really, you know, he's, he's okay with me. Okay, Eve, you said Eve. The girl every rap stress should wanna be when they grow up. Alan Iverson. My times in Philly were when Iverson was AI, when he ran City Blue. Yeah. Right? Remember? Wow, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, going through. Right? Yeah. And uh, get stuff for him and his friends. Just empty the shelves. Just yep. done. What a legacy. And what a tragedy. It comes and and then it goes in entertainment, whether you play ball or have, have a talk show or whatever. So you don't want it to go in a tragic way. Gotcha. Well, mm -hmm. Wendy, I appreciate your time. You didn't ask me about I, Beanie Siegel. What do you think about Beanie Siegel? Still love the music. Okay. Beanie and AI yeah. will always be Philly to me. This is Wendy Williams. This is Quincy Harris on the queue. Thank you. My, my boy is all grown up. Look. <laughs> Love Wendy, man. Let's get up for Wendy Williams. You can uh, check out Wendy each and every day, Monday through Friday, right here at uh, 10 a.m. Hey, guys, uh, you guys having a good time? You guys having a good time? All right, so when we come back, what we're going to do, uh, we have a game called Finish the Lyric, okay? We'll have a song. You have to finish the lyric, and we may have some tickets for you, okay? okay. Right. Stay right here on the queue. Come it up. Bring it in. Hey, you, you want to come see the Q live in studio? You want tickets? Get online right now. Just go to fox29.com slash Q tickets. I'm waiting for you. Injured in an accident? You need to call Leonard Hill. There's no better reason to call Leonard Hill than simply wanting more. Five million. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand. Call Leonard Hill and find out what your case may really be worth. A good lawyer shouldn't cost you more. They should get you more. Call free. 800-76-LEGAL. I always felt like I needed to help people. That was always something that was very important to me. One coworker actually went to Lincoln Tech and recommended it to me, and I just fell in love with it. The teachers are so great. They really do set you up for success. I actually got a job right after I graduated from Lincoln. For me, Lincoln Tech is the link to helping others. Lincoln Tech is America's technical institute. At IKEA, we believe that everything you need should be within reach. That anything that matches your taste can match your budget. That green living doesn't have to cost much green. We believe that you should always have room for the little things. And that your dream kitchen should work as hard as you do. Get 15% back at the IKEA Kitchen event. Pat Toomey and Donald Trump, they're just wrong for the women of Pennsylvania. New fallout for Donald Trump. Should the woman be punished for having an abortion? There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. I would support legislation in Pennsylvania that would ban abortion, and I would, I would su suggest that we have penalties for doctors who perform them. Pat Toomey and Donald Trump, they're not for you. Majority Forward is responsible for the content of this advertising. I'm Doug Hopkins with Sellers Advantage, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, there is no easier way to sell your house. We'll buy your house any price, any condition, any size. When you sell your house to us, there are no fees, 
no commissions, no banks, and absolutely no repairs. If you want to sell your house fast, just go to sellersadvantage.com to see what we can do for you. That's sellersadvantage.com. There's no better reason to call Leonard Hill than simply wanting more. Five million. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand. Call Leonard Hill and find out what your case may really be worth. A good lawyer shouldn't cost you more. They should get you more. Call free. 800-76-LEGAL. Get up out your seat. Hey. Jump up on your feet. Hey. Hug somebody, love somebody. Say hello. Oh. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the queue. Uh, on Saturday, November 12th, the band Perry is playing at the Tropicana in Lang City, and we have some tickets, but we're going to play this song called Finish the Lyric. Uh, we have three contestants. First contestant, what's your name, sir? Joshua. Uh, where are you from? Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Lisa Berry of Lamia Door Cupcakes. Right job. Right job. That's right. What's your name, sir? Todd Berry of Not Unlimited Pop Cupcakes. <laughs> Okay, so we have a song. We, we're going to see if you guys can finish the lyric for some tickets to Van Perry and Lang City, Tropicana, okay? Okay. Uh, Malk, you have the song? Yes, sir. All right, so when, when Malk, he'll play the song, he'll drop it, and then you have to finish the lyric. Gotcha. All right, here you go. If go I die young, bury me. <laughs> okay. I don't know it. I'm sorry, I don't know it. I, I can't finish the lyric if, if I, 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 I die. Young, <laughs> me I, no, I no. need something else. Okay. I don't know that, sir. Like, <laughs> what is that? Was Ben? Take my. Speech. It was that was that was. <laughs> It's Ben Perry, man. Uh, it's ben. Who's Ben Perry? Ben, that's, you keep giving out tickets, baby. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm all right, all right, all right. Come here, come here. All right, what's your name? Please, all right, please select. Go ahead, Mal. If I die young, young oh. if I die young. These people, these, listen, listen. These people are making a spectacle of the game. Todd, all right, Todd. It's a little country. Todd, it's a little country. Finish the lyric. Finish Drop the lyric. Drop it. Drop it. Lay me down on a bed of roses. Lay yeah, me yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Sink me in the rivers at dawn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what we'll do? We have tickets for Ben Barry for everybody in the audience. You're going to learn. You're going to learn who Ben Barry is. You're going to learn who Ben Barry is. We have tickets for everybody. Guys, thank you for joining us on the queue today. Like you'll go, you'll go, and then you'll learn. You'll learn. You'll learn. We see you guys back. Tune into the queue weekdays at noon on Fox 29. Sponsored by Foreman Mills. Stretch those bills out. Oh!